Well, hi everybody. Bad news here. That's that's my trail name. It's a long story how I got it. Um, I just had my second to the last night on the trail on this trip. Thought it might be a good time to just reflect on everything. Um, uh, some simple things. While I was out here, I was um, improving my my uh, camp routine. Um, there was at one point. Uh, I was at a campsite in Maryland, and there were a couple other hikers there, and I had some extra hefty tra trash bags, uh, hefty, not trash bags, uh, Ziploc bags. I think they were gallon Ziploc bags, something like that. And uh, <clears throat> I offered them some, and it was like uh, they had just uh, won the lottery. Uh, they were so excited. I, I gave them four each, and they started telling me all the things that you do with those. Um, you can keep your dirty clothes separated from your clean clothes uh, by putting them in this airtight uh, bag. So there's something I started to do. Um, I uh, partway through the trip uh, realized I didn't have a really good way of uh, rehydrating food so I bought a naprene bottle uh, for a hot soaking. Uh, a lot of hikers out here actually do what's called cold soaking. They don't even cook. They just put everything in uh, in cold water and it takes longer but uh, it is more convenient but to me I like a hot meal um, and then part way through the hike somebody pointed out that if I had those uh, rehydration packs uh, uh, like from the uh, pre uh, prepackaged meals like mountain house or uh, backpacker country or something like that I could just save one of those and rehydrate things in there it's a little bit cleaner or easier to deal with the, the cleanup um, so, so now I do that. I still have the naprene bottle because sometimes the, uh, those, uh, packages, uh, empty packages from a previous meal aren't always available. Um, I learned a couple years ago that uh, since I can't see how much water I have in my platypus bladder, which is, uh, in my pack, there's a hose that comes out that I can drink from. Uh, I have a a one liter Gatorade bottle with water in it. That's my emergency reserve. So when I run out of water out of my uh, platypus uh, bladder, uh, I know that I've got one liters worth of drinking that I can still do uh, and I have to start looking for water. Excuse my thumb getting in there. Um, uh, I, I found that hiking this part of the trail Southbound is very lonely. Uh, I did meet a few people, uh, made some good friends. Uh, probably Brian Lashak, I should probably mention specifically. We hiked together for several days. But now that I'm getting towards Roanoke, the last um, three shelter nights, I believe, uh, I've had the shelter to myself. Uh, there's hardly anybody out on the trail. And that becomes obvious because when you get out on the trail and you're hiking and you end up with cobwebs all over yourself, gets in your beard, gets on your clothes. You can't see them until, but you can feel them when you hit them. Um, so it's a minor thing, but it's uh, it's just one of those annoyances. So when you do see somebody coming the other way, you thank them for clearing out the cobwebs and they thank you for doing the same thing. Um, so uh, you notice I got what I call trail credibility. My beard doesn't grow very well and it feels horrible. I have to agree with Darlene, it's gotta go. Um, as soon as I get off the trail uh, and back home, probably. I don't know if I can shave it off in a hotel, surprise her, but uh, as soon as I get home, it'll be getting removed. Um, uh, I don't know if it makes me look older, uh, or but it, it is what I call trail credibility. If you don't have it when you're out here, everybody looks at you like you're just a weekend warrior. Um, uh I, I've learned uh, the difference between wine berries and blackberries. Um, they look a lot alike. The wine berries and the unripened blackberries look alike. Uh, the un unripened blackberries are much duller and they taste very nasty if you tried eating them. Wine berries are very uh, sweet and tart at the same time. They're related to the raspberry. Uh, they came over from Europe, I guess. Um, somebody was giving me the history of them. Uh, they're not a commercially viable product, but they grow wild out here. And the reason they're not commercially viable is they just plain don't keep. Um, but it's uh, really nice to have that little treat on the side. 
I haven't seen too many blueberries. I'm told that there's a blueberry patch coming up uh, in the next mile or so, my first mile a day. If they're ripe, if there's any there, if they're not all beyond, uh, you know, their the blueberry season. Um, if there's any there, I'll see if I can maybe fill that naprene bottle with a, a couple cups of blueberries for, for later. Um, so this campsite you can see here, um, standard shelter. Uh, that's the design that seems to be in common use uh, south of uh, Shenandoah National Park. Shenandoah National Park has got its own design. Um, you can see here, uh, this is a nice open uh, campsite area. Um, another thing I've learned is when you uh, speak to people, uh, there's often miscommunication because we're uh, dealing with people from all over the country. I, I was going up one hill and I, I said to a couple of hikers, oh, I was looking for the summit. And the woman points down the trail that I just come up. She says, the summit's down there. We were just on it. And I'm looking at my uh, gut hook GPS and I'm like, the summit's ahead. I, I don't understand what she was talking about. And she was taking the summit to mean uh, the place where everybody went and there was a, a rock outcropping and you got a great view of the surrounding area. And I was, by meaning summit, I meant literally the summit, the top of this hill, which was wooded over and there was nothing much up there. Uh, in Virginia, that seems to be the case. You get to the, you go through all this trouble to climb up a hill and uh, there's nothing there except for trees. Uh, sometimes it's a little more open, so it gives you kind of a pleasant feeling, but you can't see anything from up there. They have a phrase for it. They call them PUDs, which stands for pointless ups and downs. Uh, you go up a hill. Uh, there's nothing to look at, folks. Just move along, and then you go back down, and then you go back up. Uh, there are a lot of times on the way, there are, there are views. And uh, the trail here through the Shenandoah National Park snakes along with the Skyline Drive. It's You're usually out of earshot of it but you keep on crossing it here's the blue ridge parkway i keep on crossing now that i'm south of the shenandoahs um another miscommunication i had with somebody just yesterday was kind of funny i came to a parking lot uh on the blue ridge parkway and one of the things you're always looking for when you're out here is uh is some place to throw away your trash you're always looking for water place to throw away trash places to resupply um, you know, privies, there, there are just certain amenities that you're really looking for. So I asked these hikers, I said, is there a trash barrel over here? And the lady took me literally, she was like thinking that I had stuff to throw out, but if it wasn't in an actual barrel shaped receptacle, then it wasn't going to suit me. She says, oh, no, there's no trash barrel here. And the guy said, yeah, there's a trash thing right over there. And she was all confused. Like, this is, it's not a barrel. I'm like, well, okay, we call them trash cans, trash barrels, you know, whatever you call it. Um, she seemed to think that I literally could only use a trash barrel, like maybe I was carrying something big or something like that. So just some closing thoughts. I got one more night on the trail. Uh, I'm only going for 13 miles tonight. Uh, I have the logistical nightmare of trying to, from the trail, uh, find a hotel room near the uh, railroad station, uh, have a railroad tickets purchased, uh, and a shuttle ride down to that hotel. Because the hotel has to be within walking distance of the railroad station. It's an unmanned railroad station in Roanoke, so I just have to, at 6.30 in the morning, hop on. And uh, uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know how it works, maybe the ticket's on my phone. Um, you know, that's modern technology. I generally don't do modern technology i've been in the defense industry where you don't get to deal with modern technology uh, that's a joke by the way um so um you know i guess uh that's it uh i'll probably make one more video if i can think of an interesting topic or an un uninteresting topic that i can ramble on about uh in closing i guess i'd have to thank uh darlene for uh let me come out here I mean this is five and a half weeks she's had to deal with the household and the cat and everything else all by herself she's been doing a lot of work she uh there's a island in the middle of our cul-de-sac that we live on uh she's been weeding that and mulching that and making it pretty for the whole neighborhood um 
you know, she's been holding the holding the fort in my absence, uh, which she always does pretty well anyway. Um, so that's it. Signing off.